Germany's move that makes Russia uncomfortable. Putin's not a reservation on the agenda. Hello, the pioneer viewers. As you know, our agenda is the Russia-Ukraine war. The war continues with intense clashes on the front. The news coming from the front reveals the intensity of the war every day. Many political moves have been made during the war, which is the world has been following closely. The anarchic nature of the international system makes it difficult to impose clear sanctions in certain states' conflicts. The principle of the compliance with the international law is the binding factor for states. The states that do not abide by international law and agreements are met with the various sanctions and interventions. The nature of the politics ensures that the illegitimate behavior is prevented. Legitimacy is very important in foreign policy and interstate relations. The world has once again seen the importance of this with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Following Russia's invasion attempt against Ukraine, the agenda of world politics changed rapidly. Ukraine became the new focal point of the changing agenda. A great public opinion was formed against Russia's illegal invasion attempt. Many countries from various parts of the world declared their support for Ukraine. Sanctions and embargoes were imposed against Russia. The Russian economy suffered as a result of the embargoes. With the support packages sent to the Ukrainian army, Ukraine has gained a great advantages in the war against Russia. Ukraine, which received the support of European countries and the United States, also strengthened its hands in politics. In the early days of the war, Moscow had a defiant attitude towards the world. But in recent days, Putin's rhetoric against NATO has changed dramatically. After Germany announced a military activity that it had not done since the Second World War, the Kremlin has been experiencing some reservations. These steps taken by the European countries with security concerns caused concerns for Russia. These statements made in the past days provide important information on this issue. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start if you are ready. The pioneer reports. The news that emerged recently surprised those who heard it. According to the news, the German army deployed troops to a region for the first time after the Second World War. According to the statements, a new agreement was signed before Germany and Lithuania. According to the agreement, Germany will deploy troops in the region for the first time since the World War II. The bilateral agreement was made in Lithuania, where the Lithuanian Defense Minister Arvedas Anasuskas met with the German counterpart Boris Pristoris to outline a road map action plan involving some 4,800 permanently stationed German troops. Both officials described the agreement as the historic moment not only for their nations but also for NATO. German troops will be stationed in the Lithuanian cities of Dakanoas and Vilnius from 2024. Troops will be deployed in 2025 and 2026, and full operational capacity is expected to be reached by 2027. In return, Lithuania is committed to providing all necessary civilian and military infrastructure. The German commitment to permanently station a brigade in Lithuania is a historic step for both Germany and Lithuania, announced Suska said in a press release the other day. It signals a return to a deeper strategic partnership. The German brigade would significantly increase our defense potential and enhance NATO deterrence and collective defense, he continued. The signed roadmap lays out in the details path Germany and Lithuania will follow to implement it, he said. German Defense Minister Pistorius said that given the long war between Ukraine and Russia, the latter bordering Lithuania, the move against Russia is a positive step to defense relations. Belarus, a closely ally of Russia, also borders Lithuania. Pistorius said he clearly understands the new situation in Germany's security policies. By deploying a combat brigade in Lithuania, he said, we are assuming a role of leadership and responsibility in NATO alliance. We will provide reliable deterrence and be ready to defend NATO, he said, sending a clear signal to those who pose a threat in peace and security in Europe. 
the joint plan was formulated by experts within the two countries' defense ministries. Most of the German troops will be deployed on the territory of the Redin Kiana military training ground, while the rest will be stationed in the town of Rukla, where around 1,000 Allied soldiers are already residing. In addition to the logistic centers, combat support and supply units formed by the new and existing units, three maneuver battalions will be added to the new brigade. The security measures and preparations against Russia are making Moscow nervous. President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin, who made a statement recently, expressed his views on NATO. Finland, which shares an 830-mile border with Russia, became a NATO member in April. Putin's government has repeatedly warned its northwestern neighbors against joining the organization. Finland has since accused Moscow of trying to destabilize the border by manufacturing a migrant crisis, while Russia has complained about the excessive NATO troops on the border. In the early stages of war, the Kremlin's stance against NATO was harsh, but this has changed in recent days. In a recent interview on Russia State's television, Putin said that Finland was being dragged onto NATO by the Western allies and that problems could arise as a result. He also said that Russia wants to improve relations with NATO members and has no reason to go to war with NATO countries. Russia has no geopolitical interest in such a war. As the conditions for war become more difficult, Moscow's statements sound more calm. Moscow is becoming aware of the security measures taken against Russia and the defense measures taken by the European countries. Russia, which has been trying to spread a climate of the threat and fear in international politics, is trying to change its rhetoric as it realizes the forces against it. Putin ally and Kremlin propagandist Vladimir Soloyev recently argued that the cooperation among NATO states and the expansions of the alliance shows that the West is really preparing for a major war with Russia. The Moscow authorities seem to have realized this and have made moves to change Russia's rhetoric. More developments are expected in the coming period with the moves of these states. What do you think about Germany's move that makes Russia nervous? Do you think European countries are in strong preparations against the Russian threat? What do you think Russia's change in the rhetoric indicates? How do you evaluate the strong resistance of the Ukrainian army? What do you think are the likely developments in the coming days? We care about your views. Please share them with us.